Yeah, I think I got a warrant. I, I missed court, so. I forgot all about that. I got you. Oh! Yeah, you know what? I got you. Yeah, 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 I got you. Benita Wright of Cleveland, Ohio was pulled over for a simple traffic stop after an officer noticed that she was driving with expired plates. At first, this seems like nothing more than a casual stop, but just watch because things are about to take a very unexpected turn. Hello, I'm Soft Squad, Metro Parks Police Department. <laughs> you know your license plate's expired, but in May? No, this is my auntie car. Is it? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, they expired in May. She stayed right around the corner, though. She just let me come up here because they about to have a balloon release for my friend who just killed herself up here. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I could take it right back home if that's the case. Okay. At first, Bonita seems perfectly calm and at ease. She definitely doesn't act like someone who could possibly be in very serious trouble with the law. That's fine. Just uh, sit tight for me really quick. Is there any weapons or drugs or anything like that in the car? No. I mean, I had this, um, I had bought a four-pack of wine for my friend who was about to come up here with the balloon release, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, it's not open, though? Yeah. Uh, my, her sister had one already. I don't know if she put it back in there or not. Okay. The officer asks Benita to get out of the car so they can go around it with their canine to make sure there is nothing illegal inside. Benita is chatting it up while on the phone to a friend when all of a sudden, for the first time, she seems to remember something pretty major. Yeah, I think I got a warrant. I, I missed court, so. I forgot all about that. Bonita is worried that there is a warrant out for her RS. When officers check the system, they don't find a warrant, but see that she is driving on a suspended license. The officer says he'll let her off with just a warning as long as she gets someone else to take the vehicle home. But yeah, so just let you know, don't be driving. Don't be, you can sit around, have somebody else come and drive the car once we're done and everything like that, okay. but. I'm gonna just tell her to come right up here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you who suspended your license. Can you stay right up here? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you don't want to get close to that dog. Bonita says that there shouldn't be anything illegal in the car, but the officer's dog thinks otherwise. That's when Bonita starts to suspect that whoever had driven the car before her might have left something in the car that is about to get her in trouble. My dog was pretty convinced that there's something in this vehicle or there was something in the vehicle. I don't know. Listen, let me call the last person we had and let me make sure. I mean, just ask him. My dog doesn't hit on me, so it's not... Oh my gosh, it's irritating. And sure enough, there was something in that vehicle. Did you leave anything in this car when you had the yeah, car? Yeah, Are you serious? What do you have in her? What's in this car? What? Oh my God. While searching the car, one of the officers notices that there are scratch marks, likely from a law enforcement dog, on one of the doors. This makes him think that the vehicle has definitely been searched for drugs in the past. But when they look underneath one of the seats, they find something even more concerning. He was hitting the door, man. I saw there were scratch marks on his door already. Not even from him, you know? Yeah, no, I saw, I saw him hitting on it. It's a fire up in here. What's that? There's a gun in here. Nuh -uh. Yep. This is really, really bad news for Benita. That's it. Cop. I don't know. I'm out here at the base. The guy admitted to it. Yeah, okay. It's a gun in the country. I don't know. That's what I just said. That's what he just said. He just said that he left it in the fucking car. Stupid as uh, Here, get the phone. I can't do it without okay. the Benita is put into cuffs, all the while she is clearly becoming really agitated and super angry that this is the reason why she is about to go to jail. The officers ask Bonita if she knows what else could be in the car, and that's when she breaks some major news to them. She has no reason to lie to them about anything, because she is already very well known by law enforcement and is in their system. Carry drugs and stuff because I don't want to get sick. I don't want the dog getting sick. I don't want you getting sick. You know what I mean? I'm not lying to you. I'm I already know, in the whole situation. I'm pretty sure y'all can see all of that in the system. All 
Bonita's past is about to come back to bite her. I got you. Oh! Yes, yes, I'm in the whole situation right now. Okay. Damn, man. Uh, What's your name? What's your name? first name? Bonita. Bonita. Damn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a fucking god, man. It's Bonita calls her aunt, the supposed rightful owner of the car, to come and speak to the officers. It'd be nice to the aunt. Oh, uh, this might be the aunt. Is your car? Let me check with Okay. Hold on. You got your idea on it? Yeah. She seems to be unaware what kind of trouble people have been getting into while using her car. Who's been in this car? Why you say that? Because my dog hit all over the car. I didn't look at drugs on it. Officers explained to Bonita's aunt that while the weapon they found in the vehicle might not have belonged to Bonita, but to some other guy, it was looking like it would be Bonita to take the fall for it since that man had taken off. Yeah, he's being cool, he wants you to take the car, but we're supposed to tow it. So it's not because it's that's why we're talking to you. And you're like, yeah, yeah you know, no, I'm no, I'm no, I've got a deal for you. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, I don't know. He's gone. He wasn't with her. That's, that's, that's the problem. Saying, as far as they could tell, this was just another case of someone being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But Bonita knows otherwise. Yeah, unfortunately for her, he's gone. You can break the car apart. No, we already did. We already did. Because I'm like, it's already... She's it was in her, she had a long criminal history with drugs and stuff. Yeah. And when we find she, a gun under the seat, unfortunately, she just called me and we she's said, in it. I mean, it's, you know what I mean? It sucks because... Officers tell Bonita's aunt that unless she wants to get in serious trouble for having a car like this under her name, she better get rid of it quickly. I would I would get rid of your name off this car if they're going to well, be no, those no, kind of actually, people in the car. Uh, no, it's, it's, about the, it's about the sit because I still got a title loan on yeah, it. Yeah, right. And uh, oh, jeez. And she oh, just yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you're lucky he's being cool because this is supposed to go. Um, it's supposed to be towed in. Uh, she tells the officers that Bonita told her that the man she was with left as soon as he sensed trouble, leaving her to deal with the legal trouble on her own. Um, yeah, because right. my niece Bonita called me and she was like, the police pulled right me over. They just found a gun underneath the, the seat. Right. She told me that she had her, her friend with her, but he done it. Um, so off. Can I show you something too? Yeah. All right. The officer shows the woman the scratches on the car and explains that these scratches couldn't have been caused by just any pet dog. See it? This is a dog. This is a canine. This is this isn't from my dog. This is oh. from another police dog. Well, you know what's and here's where my dog hit. My dog hit from here back to here. Okay, so you can see the scratches. Someone who's ever driving this car is carrying drugs. So that's how, you know. When a police dog alerts, they start scratching. This wasn't even my dog. This was another dog. When my dog got here, I looked and I'm like, what the hell? This was clearly done by a law enforcement animal. But she said you got dogs that are scratching yeah, the car. I got, yeah, I got but, two dogs. Okay. These dogs are just scratching right here. That's a that's a police dog. That's not a that's not your dogs. Yeah. There's no other scratches well, anywhere well, on this car. So I here. know this. So there's, there's somebody, this guy's driving around, this guy's driving around in your car with drugs. While speaking from behind the bars of the law enforcement vehicle, Bonita seems to be processing just how much trouble she's about to be in. She knew that chances are, she's not about to be a free woman again anytime soon. Am I allowed to have her belongings? At least my house keys and my phone. Yeah, I can give you that right now. Um, I don't know if you guys want to hang out for a little bit. Uh, just until I get some more stuff confirmed with this, just because it's in the process right now, we gotta do some more confirming. Confirming uh, on what? You said you're you're still in the court process, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What court was it out of? Elyria. Elyria. Okay. Officers are about to figure out that Bonita's problems go well beyond just simple run-ins with the law. She had spent some serious time behind bars. In August of 2022, Bonita was arrested and charged with killing her own boyfriend, 28-year-old Kieran Ficklin, inside of their residence. She was facing six felonies in total. In addition to murder, she was faced with felonious and tampering with evidence. Her bond was in Italy set at $250,000, but Bonita's defense team said that Bonita was actually the victim in this case and that she had suffered a lot of 
abuse at the hands of Chiron. They also said that on the night that Chiron had died, Bonita had only grabbed a weapon and used it on him because she was trying to defend herself and save her own life. On the morning after Chiron's death, Bonita had been the one to call 911. She told the dispatcher that she needed an ambulance right away. She explained that she and Karen had gotten into a bad fight the night before and that law enforcement had to come and break it up. She then went to sleep upstairs, but when she woke up the next morning, she had discovered Kieran on the ground not moving. She also saw a weapon sticking out of his pants pocket. You know if he does any drugs or anything or while Benita said she didn't know for sure, it looked like Kieran was dead. Like when I when I tried to move him, when I tried to move him, he was very, very fit and his, his arms and stuff is cold. When police arrived at the scene, they discovered Kieran dead with one fatal wound to the chest. That was when Benita was arrested for the first time. While it's not clear why, Benita was eventually released from jail before she had faced trial. So I gotta go ahead and call the courthouse and make sure that... I wasn't released on no bonds, no restrictions, no hold, no nothing, like... Did you, how, did you stay there? Did I stay where? At, at yeah, Alaria Jail? My house. Uh, okay. Um, how long were you there? About two years. Two years, okay. Like, why would you do that? Obviously, it is pretty unheard of to allow anyone, no matter what their circumstances may be, to go completely free while they are still waiting to go to trial for murder. But according to Benita, that's exactly what happened here. And they still haven't given you like a disposition? Like no, a I'm like not. I, my lawyer is handling everything. I had a set trial. The trial got this, that got canceled. My next court date until December 6th, and I'm still waiting on a trial. Okay. Eventually, Benita was transported to the jail where she was booked for having a weapon while under indictment. In Ohio, it is illegal to have a firearm in your possession while you are facing charges as serious as murder. Benita remains locked up for now. So far, it has not yet been announced when her next trial date will be. But at least one thing is pretty certain. Law enforcement probably isn't going to be letting her out early again. Will Benita with be convicted of Kiron's murder, or will the jury decide that she was a victim of domestic who was just trying to protect herself that is something we will have to wait to find out thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more